we will now progress to an exercise called arrow. Initially we can leave the head down on the head cushion to practice this and that's important if somebody particularly has a lower back problem or a neck problem. Once this has been perfected then you can raise the head off the head cushion. So lying face down on the floor with a head cushion underneath the forehead, the feet falling slightly apart, everything is relaxed. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out through the mouth, engage the pelvic floor muscles, draw in the navel, slide the shoulders down into the back, stretching the arms, ensuring you don't lock out those elbows. The hands come off and the palms turn to face the inside of the legs. The gluteal muscles at the bottom, whilst they may be slightly engaged, be careful not to grip. The collarbones should be nice and open here, so there's an engagement of those mid-back muscles here, opening out the chest. Be careful not to over-engage and then end up gripping or nipping those shoulder blades together. It's just a slight engagement, stretching the arms down. Breathe in at the top and then exhale, release those arms gently down. We'll try that again. Breathe in through the nose. As you exhale, draw in the pelvic floor and the belly button back towards the spine. Slide the shoulder blades down into the back, lifting the arms and hands off, turning the palms in. Again, there may be a slight engagement in the leg and buttock muscles, but don't over grip or over engage. Open out the collarbones so you're connecting those mid-back muscles. The chest is wide and open. Breathe in as you hold and exhale, gently release back down. Now, provided their clients don't have any back problems or neck problems, you can raise the head. It is a little bit more challenging. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out through the mouth, pull in the pelvic floor, draw in the belly button, Slide the shoulder blades down into the back. Raise the arms and hands off the floor, turning the palms inwards. And this time, ensure you don't lift the chest. The lift is just from the head itself. So just gently retract the neck, but keep the alignment of the cervical spine. So whatever the alignment is of the thoracic spine, the cervical spine follows that alignment. So we don't want to throw the head back and we don't want it thrown forward either keeping the neck nice and long. Breathe in as you hold and exhale to come back down gently. And we'll try that one more time. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, draw in the pelvic floor openings, draw in the navel, slide the scapula down into the back, lifting the arms, turning the palms inwards, opening out the chest, connecting those mid-back muscles without gripping and then retract the neck slightly, lifting the head until it's in line with the rest of the spine. Pulling down and back, feeling it across this mid-back, breathe in as you hold and then exhale gently, release and relax to the floor. <laughs>